no, there's nowhere else to turn. You're not you're not looking to 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 shop for Skripsky or these guys to, to, to figure it out. And and obviously Matthew Hoppy can't be solely responsible for suddenly scoring all of your goals because he's getting minutes. Um and and actually to his credit, I think he did significantly better in this game. He had a nice link up play um, with some of the, some of the midfielders. Yeah, right? I was I was more impressed with him in this one for sure. Yeah, I said he needed yeah. to kind of show us something if I think he's gonna get more minutes. And after that, who knows? Because I don't think he's basically that performance is far off anything we've seen from anybody else this season. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was uh, Stark or who it was on the defense for Hertha, but they were just taking advantage of him, bullying him constantly, especially on the on sideline and stuff, knocking him around. But uh, yeah, Serdar, I thought it had a very poor game overall. Ooh, I kept, it kept looking like he kept trying to do too much, kept trying to drop deep into the midfield to get the ball to start it up, but then he, you know, it just wasn't working. And, and I appreciate his industry because he's he's so important to us because he does so much and he's trying yeah. so hard and he's he's yeah. going wherever he can to try to link up and and you know create angles and stuff, but um. Yeah, but I mean, I have to be critical of him too when he misses chances, and I thought he was, I thought he was wasteful today. The other thing about Matthew Hoppy that seems interesting to me, this is maybe it's just a Suat Serdar issue, but um, it's I feel as though his teammates don't trust him because there's there's yeah. times he's making like legitimately good runs, and there's an there's an opportunity for like a through ball pass where it seems like he's probably the best option. I think there's at least two of these chances in this game. I, th- I think I saw another one in a different one, and Suat Serdar, whoever, just like. Is like nope. I'm not. I'm not playing that to him. Like I'm gonna take it or I'm gonna give it to somebody else. Like I don't want to like have the chance fall to this guy. Um, I don't know if that's just coincidence that they have they've happened to make those decisions. It might maybe it's not um, a lack of trust. It could just be my American bias speaking. But if that is a thing, that's a huge problem too. Because if you're gonna have this guy in the lineup, you have to be able to like play the ball where the best opportunity for the goal is. And if you don't trust him, like I mean. That needs to change, or he needs to get out. I don't know what's going on, but that that, that seemed that seemed to raise an eyebrow to me, and I, I thought I, I noticed that, I noticed that as well, and I wondered if it was maybe a confidence issue, like, oh, I can't get that pass, so there's no way, I, nothing's working out for me, so I'm not going to try that pass. It could be that. Hopefully, it's that, and not the I don't trust him, you know, kind of play. Because, like you said, if you're going to have 11 men out there, you need to have them, you need to trust everybody there. Otherwise, you're basically playing with a man short, and that does you nothing going offensively. And it's already hard as it is trying to score some goals, much less, you know, because there's a couple times where he doesn't get the ball, and, and Matthew Hobby's like making like you know gestations about like you know he's, he's he's gesticulating like about like the fact that he didn't get the ball and normally i'd be like all right youngster like why don't you calm down a little bit but i think he was right a couple yeah, times in this game. Yeah, like, he should have like so yeah i don't know um but uh, and maybe since we're basically done talking about this game this is a good time to transition into this but 